This is a tutorial on how to do basic model editing for Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. For this tutorial, you're going to need to know how to unpack DAT files and CPK files to get to the DAT files, and do texture editing, and you need to have basic knowledge of Blender. So the first thing you're going to do is isolate the model that you want. For now, what I'm going to be doing for this tutorial is replacing Raiden's sword with a lightsaber, specifically Darth Vader's lightsaber. So what I'm going to do is copy the path of the DTT. This is very important. You're going to need to install the plugin for Blender that allows you to use the Metal Gear Rising file types. I'll link that in the description. So now you're going to go from File, Import, DTT, and then paste the directory, Import DTT and DAT, and then move over to here just so you can see the textures. You don't have to do this. Technically, you could just import the WMB, but that requires you to have already extracted the DAT file, uh, but then you won't be able to see the textures. So right now what I'm going to do, just so I can see the sword, is uh, make the bone invisible. Now I'm going to file import DAE, and let me just copy, let me see which one is the correct one, ah, it's this one. So paste the DAE or other Blender compatible file type and import that into the game. Now here, delete the bone. Delete any new bones that you're going to add. Now luckily, what I have is only one mesh. Uh, if you have more than one mesh, try to condense them to as few meshes as possible. Uh, have them match up with the amount of meshes that you have on the on the original model or fewer Preferably fewer so that you don't run into texture issues along the way That's another thing you have to keep in mind is how many textures there are on On the original model that you have so if I look at near to blender extracted DTT and then textures you can see there's only one texture for the sword and one normal map texture that usually applies to every model is you'll have a normal map texture for every texture for body textures it gets a bit more complicated but i'm keeping it simple for the purposes of this tutorial so right now i'm just going to scale up the lightsaber right now make sure you have the rotation and everything correct as well so now that you have your mesh and you have it lined up to where you want it to be, uh, make sure that you don't have uh, any unnecessary stuff like it, stuff right here. So right here you only have the green triangle. Here it just has modifiers and vertex groups. So you want to go to your vertex groups here and get rid of the vertex group. And go to UV maps as well. Rename, do not delete any UV maps or you'll run into an issue with the textures not lining up to where you want them to be. Rename them to UV map with that capitalization specifically. And of course, go into your materials and delete the material on the new mesh. And since there's a modifier section here, just delete that modifier in the modifier tab. And notice if you actually delete the modifier from here, it deletes the entire mesh. Just delete it from the modifiers tab down here. So now we're almost done. Uh, right now I'm going to quickly save the project as lightsaber.blend so I can quickly show you white paints. Uh, I'll cut to the part where I get to the white paints. So Raiden's sword does not have any white paints on it. Uh, this is the uh, long sword, so it does have certain white paints on it because it has its own animations. White paints are mainly going to be an issue that you have with uh, bodies. 
So you deleted your vertex groups originally. So with this sword, what you're going to do is click on the original mesh, click on your new mesh, and then go to weight paints. Then you're going to do weights, transfer weights, and then in your transfer mesh data, uh, make sure the first one is vertex groups. Yes, that's good. Instead of nearest vertex, it's nearest face interpolated. Make your wave radius five-ish meters. It could be more, it could be less, but I generally stick around to five-ish. Your destination layer to by name, all layers, replace. Yes, that's all good, and that should all update in real time. And then uh, weight, change your weights to limit total, and then normalize all and go back to object mode. Do that with all of your weights and make sure that uh, your meshes are lined up as good as you want them beforehand. So you're gonna wanna do that with all of your meshes. Right now, since I only have one, uh, then it should be good. So I'm gonna switch back to the lightsaber uh, blend file because that's where we were and you'll notice here you don't actually have any vertex groups just because that's Ren sword and that applies to most swords so now that everything is all set up you're gonna click on your new mesh and click on one of your original meshes and do right click join and now you have uh, you'll see it has transferred the textures that's something we're going to worry about later now here you go to modeling and then delete vertices it should only have the vertices from the WMB selected if not what you can do is uh, move your new mesh away and then join them and then you go to modeling and uh, let's say hypothetically they're all selected I go over to your wire mesh mode and select only the WMB parts and then again delete vertices but we're not going to do that right now. Right now it's just going to be uh, joining these together. And you can see that this is invisible. I don't know why it's invisible. Most models have that. It could be something to do with the shadows but we are not going to worry about that right now. So now your model should be ready to export right now. I'm just going to make that bone visible again. So file, export, WMB4, uh, lightsaber, near to blender extracted, dat file, and your WMB. Let's see, it exported, no issues. So let's go back over to the dat file. And then you can delete the textures folders. They're not necessary in datinfo.json. Uh, you can delete those too. So now what I'm going to do is do some basic texture swapping. So I'm going to quickly do that, and then we'll see how the model looks in game. All right, now that I've quickly swapped the textures, I'm going to move the dat and DTT file over to the PL folder. I'm going to open up Metal Gear Rising. All right, now I'm going to equip my regular high-frequency blade. And as you can see, it is now a lightsaber. And I will, of course, add the blade at a later time, but for now, the tutorial is as good as it needs to be. So, yep, that is the tutorial on how to do model swapping for Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. And let's get a good look at that lightsaber right now. Yep, 
looks fancy. So yeah, that's the tutorial on model editing. Uh, I currently do not know how to add extra bones for physics, as you can see with the coat. Uh, so that's going to have to be learned from someone else. Hopefully someone else will be willing to make a tutorial for that. But that's all I have for now. Yes.